Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. And now, some of you may have already seen by now the Sonic trailer and have discovered that the internet is totally cool with it and finds nothing wrong whatsoever. So I figured now that nobody really cares about it by now, this is just the perfect time to do some Sonic on the channel. All right, now whoever was in charge of designing the Sonic character obviously made some mistakes as we've all seen. But I feel like we haven't really been focusing on what they got right. And they got, they did get two things right. Now, one of those things is that Sonic is definitely blue for the most part. I mean, he's got like some of this color around too and maybe some like whites for the eyes. And then the other thing that they got down was that Sonic likes to go fast. So basically what you have is something no better or worse than what we got here. But what they didn't know was that Scrapman was over here the whole time perfectly willing to consult on the new Sonic uh, character and design. And that's what we're going to be doing in this episode is we're going to be designing Sonic the way Scrapman would like to see Sonic. Now, I may not be a professional artist or a professional CGI person or a professional movie maker, or a professional director, or a professional... I'm just, I'm really not much of a professional at anything I do. But there is one thing that I excel at in particular, and that is taking an idea, building it up from scratch, and having it work exactly as expected, perfectly 100% of the time. So, Sonic is today's idea, and we're gonna start building this thing, and we're gonna make it amazing, better than the movie, better than the game, dare I say. So you can see I've got my blueprint all readied up here and we're ready to build ourselves the Sonic of a lifetime. Now, I did read that the producers of the movie are going to take the viewer's feedback into consideration and redesign Sonic. And I'm not saying that I'm gonna make something better than any other redesign here. All I'm saying is that if they wanna come to me after seeing this video, and maybe compensate me a little bit to let them borrow my design capabilities, then um, I wouldn't say no. So we all know that Sonic has really two forms. He's kind of like a transformer, to be honest. He has his normal like humanoid form where, we ha where he has legs and arms and an eye with two pupils. But he also has his gotta go fast form where he basically turns into a ball. So I'm thinking like if we just get like a beach ball here or something or a volleyball. That's ah, a little small, isn't it? We might need something bigger. How's this looking blue? Okay, it doesn't go blue. We can't use that then. Trial and error. Sometimes you got to work with what you got. All right, what about this ball right here? Yeah, see, oh, that's not so bad. I mean, you just got to ignore the yellow and the gray and the metallic design and the, the white stripes and everything that's not blue or round about this. And then you pretty much got Sonic here. And now the fun thing about this particular item in this particular game is that when it spins, it comes with its own sound effect, just like Sonic. So all we gotta do is just spin this bad boy up and we get the classic, the classic Sonic sound effect. You hear that? Indistinguishable from the original. All right, so Sonic's ready to go fast. We're gonna detach him and see how fast Sonic can go. Go fast, Sonic, go! Okay, that's not... Sonic might need a little bit of help um, going fast. You know, perhaps if Sonic had a little bit of like explosive encouragement as he fell down to the ground to go fast, he might go faster. So we're gonna put Sonic up a little bit higher, make sure he's ready to go nice and fast. And oh, this is gonna destroy everything. All right, Sonic, are you ready? Are you ready to go even faster? All right, here we go. Go fast, Sonic, go fast. Now, I'm not a professional practical effects artist or explosives technician either. Just keep that in mind as I try to make this movie happen. All right, Sonics, I, I know I, I know you're not enthusiastic about this, but huddle up here, huddle up. We gotta, we gotta talk about this, okay? The viewers, they're expecting a lot. We got these big promises here. We're, we're gonna try to make this movie great again. And you guys just aren't living up to the expectations, okay? You know what, maybe if you weren't all like huddled up into your ball form all the time, you might be able to see a little bit better. You might be able to see what's going on around you. So why don't we try, why don't we try opening up 
opening up to the audience a little bit and see if that can make you uh, make things go smoother. What do you say? Good? Yeah? Good? All right, let's do it. All right, so obviously ball form Sonic here just isn't living up to our expectations. So I think we actually have to build a Sonic that has legs, arms, a little bit more personality, right? There's not a lot of personality in his ball form. He just goes fast, but maybe if we bring out his more defining features, we'll have a little bit more luck here. All right, so this is gonna take a little bit of time. We're gonna build this from the ground up and make something truly amazing. All right, guys, quick update. Sonic is coming along amazingly so far, as you can clearly see. Now, it's been tougher than I thought, actually. I, I will admit, it, it isn't the easiest thing to redesign the Sonic character. Like, first of all, what is his head made out of? Like, what are these spiky things coming off of his head? And what is contained under... How big is Sonic's head, actually? Where does his brain sit? I would like to see the skull of Sonic, just for anatomy's sake. I just want that comparison to understand what's happening in that spiky head of his. But the other thing I'm really, really proud of so far is the hands. Like, you can really see, like, he's got these big gloves on, so sometimes it's hard to get, like, the definition in his fingers. But I think I've really accomplished that, especially with what I've done here. And now, you may notice that one of the arms is slightly longer than the other. Now, some people might see that as an oversight, but to me, it's more of, like, it just... It's adding character and Sonic is a character. So adding character to a character just just makes it awesome. But all we have left is the most important part of Sonic, his legs. Now these just aren't gonna be any ordinary legs. These legs, they gotta go fast. So we gotta make sure that these legs are going to be able to go fast as well as not interfere with the rest of his body. And um, that's gonna be the tough part, but I got some ideas gonna really really help and I know that these movie producers they're gonna see this video no question about it and if they thought they were impressed already once they see Sonic's legs that's when they know they're gonna have to they're gonna have to cough up some dough lo and behold ladies and gentlemen the true Sonic that everyone has been asking for I knew you were wondering how I was gonna pull off these legs but wonder no more because the legs have been pulled off. Or rather, put on. I've, I've pulled off. This language isn't working for me. The legs have been assembled, and they are ready to go fast. So right now I have them on a stand, just so we can make sure that the legs work as intended. So once I press this switch here, we should see Sonic's potential. His true potential on speed. Here we go. Go f Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> His legs are everywhere. Okay, okay, I may have may have underestimated the power of this engine. Holy cow! Maybe let you know what? Let's let's uh let's start at, at notch one. Okay, all right. I, 
would have also made more sense if the legs were going in the right direction. Okay. They're, um, all right, there we go. Now let's slowly increase. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking. Oh wait, we're getting we're getting into the danger zone there. All right, look at. <laughs> oh man, just wait till we take him off. Wait till we take him off his stand and just let him go free. It's the power that Sonic has, like it is untapped potential. Like we just. <laughs> Oh, Sonic. <laughs> what did the movies do to you? Don't worry, that's what we're here for. We're here to fix you. All right, I gotta, I gotta make sure I save this guy before he speeds away into oblivion and to never be seen again. Okay, Sonic is ready. He has his end goal in mind. He is ready to just keep running and running. You ready to go fast, Sonic? You ready? He looks so ready. With the press of a button, Sonic should be out of here. All right, three. Two, one, go fast! too powerful a little bit still a little bit too powerful why don't we why don't we take it down a notch literally come on Sonic. we gotta impress the people we gotta impress the big movie makers so we can get the so we can get the deal okay all right here we go three two one go fast oh that's not better this is not better sonic what are you doing to me man what are you sonic we talked about this i thought you were gonna be you were in ball form you were really disappointing <sighs> this is not this is not how this was supposed to go Okay, all right, I'll just take it down a couple notches this time. Oh, Sonic, you're, you're embarrassing us. You're embarrassing the channel, Sonic. No, 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 he's not. He's, I know what he's missing. Sonic is missing the real secret behind his speed, and that is thrust. All right, with a little bit of help from some thrusters, this should definitely get Sonic going. Let's get him on track here. All right, Sonic, you're ready for this? This is this is your time to shine now. You, you've had some practice. We've given you some new abilities here. Let's impress the big movie producers and let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves onto the big screen. Here we go, Sonic. Three, two, one, go fast. You know what, Sonic? Let's try it. Let's give the legs a break. Let's give the legs a break. Let's just try it with just your thrust. Just the thrusters, okay? All right, go fast! Okay, you know what? All right, Sonic, you're embarrassing us again. Let's let's do it this time, okay? A little bit better this time. All right, three, two, one, go fast! <gasps> that That's improvement, Sonic. I'm impressed. We're getting there. We'll be on the big screen in no time at this rate. All right, let's add a little bit of the legs into there. We need to add that convincing illusion that it's your legs that's doing the work here. And three, two, one, go fat. Sonic? Sonic? All right, maybe this is a little bit better. All right, go, Sonic, go! Are you okay? Oh, Sonic. Sonic, I'm so sorry. All right, we'll get you patched up in no time. There we go. Literally no time at all. All right, you know, honestly, Sonic, I think there's one thing left to do. We gotta, we gotta really push it to the max here. We're just gonna really, really push it to the max here. Okay, Sonic? You gotta be with me on this one all the way. All in, okay? All right, Sonic, make me proud. Here we go. Three, two, one, go fat! He's done it. He's ready. He is ready for the big screen. That right there, that is the face of a first place 
creation. All right, so movie producer people, you go ahead, you have your people contact my people, send a contract my way, I'll look it over. I'll send you a version back that's much worse for you and better for me. You know how it goes. I know the value of my work here, and I think you do too, so I expect to be compensated very fairly. I mean... <laughs> You're welcome.